Ladies and gentlemen, a uh, very good morning. Here it is, Eclipse Day, the 26th of February. We are now only 20 miles from our planned position. And the man responsible for getting us there is our captain, Captain Apostolos Penarius. The decision was to stay in a position latitude 12 degrees 36 north and latitude 6900 degrees west because this position was in the center line. How quickly can you shift to a better position if it's necessary? If it's necessary, uh, we can move with all our uh, power and with a speed of around 20 knots per hour. What about keeping the ship steady if they're in totality? We will stop over here in this position and normally the current and the wind is coming from that position. So we will drifting slowly like this. And the man in charge of the ship's commentary during the eclipse is Dr. Ed Crump. Ed, what exactly will you be doing? During the eclipse, I think I'm responsible for keeping people on time to warn them when it begins, when it's getting close to ending, and when it's over. This is so they look carefully and correctly with the right equipment at the right time. Have you got any special tips for people? Certainly they want to be prepared. By keeping track of the time, they know that second contact is near. The diamond ring is something that people hate to miss if there is one. And then, of course, once the eclipse opens up into full flower, people forget everything. Of the many experts on board, one of the most important is our weather expert, Dr. Ed Brooks. And he's just received the latest satellite pictures. Well, everything looks as if everything's going to work out very nicely because here we have a radar report from the whole of the Caribbean and there's not an echo anywhere on the sheet. So you think we're going to have clear skies? It looks like it. Where are we now? We are coming toward these two islands where we'll be stationed, either Curaçao or Aruba, and we'll be somewhere in that vicinity. We have a trade wind situation here with uh, high pressure to the north and fair weather, usually with divergent airflow so that there, there's very limited amount of any clouds of any consequence. We are only a few minutes away from the start of the eclipse now. First of all, we'll see the partial phase as the moon creeps across the sun. Then the sky will darken. The moon's shadow will race towards us across the ocean. We see the flash of the diamond ring, and then the prominences and the corona. Totality will seem to race by, only three minutes, 43 seconds. Then the diamond ring will flash out again, the sun will reappear, the corona will fade, and the light will come sliding back, and the glory of the eclipse will be over. First contact. You can just see the edge of the moon starting to creep onto the solar disk at about four o'clock in the clock face. Well, we are watching the eclipse. It looks as though other people are watching us. It's now half an hour since first contact, and about a quarter of the sun is hidden by the moon. The temperature dropped, and the sky is starting to darken. Others, obviously, have better things to do. Now that the sun is half covered, it's got very obviously cooler and duskier. I think this part is starting rather early. The light is fading fast. The totality is nearly on us. In a moment, you see the moon shadow rushing across the sea. Approximate five seconds. Approximate five seconds. The sunlight coming through a valley on the moon's rim. The diamond ring. And totality is upon us. Now, and only now, is it safe to look direct through a telescope or binoculars. Wow! <laughs> One lovely red prominence, the, almost at the top of the sun, is seen from here. Prominences are huge columns of red hydrogen gas rising from the solar surface. There's one beautiful specimen there. You can notice that the image is shifting around slightly. That's because they're observing it from a moving ship deck. 
Glasses on. The corona spinning out from the eclipse sun. There are streamers in the corona. This is a kind of solar minimum type corona, quite different from the last one. You can see the structure in the corona, the coronal streamers. The sky is now purple. This is an eerie sight. Everything's gone quiet in nature. <laughs> Round the body of the moon, the lovely corona with its streamers, one major prominence. You can see the corona stretching out far across the sky. It's not really dark. Many could have been darker than this. You can see the corona stretching out. The corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, the very high temperature and millions of times less dense of the air we're breathing. The planets shine out too. At the sun's poles, you can see the coronal streamers coming out. This, I think, is the loveliest eclipse I have ever seen. No words can describe the beauty of this scene. There's a diamond ring. The corona fades from view. The moon shadow rushes away across the ocean. The sky lightens again. Nature seems to wake up as suddenly as she went to sleep. And you know, for a few magical moments, it was almost as though we'd been transported to another planet. It's absolutely fantastic, yeah. Um, you know, I'm just um, really glad to have actually seen some of my own eyes as well. Oh, it was spectacular. Uh, this is the first one I've ever seen, and uh, I'm just glad I came. Absolutely awesome. Amazing. 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 Totally. Never. Words could not describe. <laughs> it's got to be the most amazing experience. It's awesome, really. Fantastic. I don't know what else I could hope for, except maybe twice as long. It's magic. After that marvellous eclipse, the celebration party is in full swing. Sadly, this eclipse wasn't seen from Britain. The next year, on the 11th of August, 1999, the only one seen from the West Country. The track of totality crosses Cornwall, Devon, then Alderney, and then off into Europe. And the length of totality will be 2 minutes 6 seconds. And the whole of Britain will see a partial eclipse. But for the next totality in Britain, we got to wait for another 90 years. And you know, eclipses are wonderful to watch. And this was undoubtedly the loveliest totality that I have ever seen. <laughs>